Welcome to the Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. What do we got? We got a Modus by Steel Will. And this one I've been waiting for for a while. And then now I haven't been waiting for a long time. I've had this in hand for a while. Probably maybe close to two months. I don't know. I've kind of put it back in line as far as reviewing it and that kind of thing because I really didn't know how I wanted to talk about this knife. I really was looking forward to getting this knife when I saw I went to the 2018 SHOT Show and I met the Steel Will people in their booth and I got to hold this knife and I saw it and I looked at it and I thought it was really cool. Made in Italy, M390 steel, bearings on the pivot, as opposed to the Chinese knives that are FRN scales and they're washers. I'm a real great left-handed flipper. Uh, and washers and D2, right? So that's that knife. Other than that, I mean, they're same dimension and everything. But these are classier, classier M390 bearings and obviously full carbon fiber. And you can look at the grain here going through it. So, uh, and actually, I did disassemble this unit. And you can see there's the carbon fiber, uh, G10 backspacer, M390 blade. It, you know, this is just honest to God. This is the way it came apart. So, yes, it was a little uh, dirty in the middle. I don't know, maybe the carbon fiber stuff and from the manufacturing machining, etc. So I wiped it down, put it back together with a little nano lube on there. And uh, you can tell it's got that D-shaped pivot, which is great because it holds together and doesn't like spin when you're trying to disassemble it. Came apart, went back together just fine, centered right up. And, of course, there, there is no steel liner on the scale side. So, it's just the carbon fiber. Down below, of course, you have to have the stainless liner for the liner lock. Good thing it's a D-shaped pivot because right here, you've got no way to stabilize the other side if the whole thing decides to turn. So, that's a good thing. Not a problem. Nice looking knife. Of course, the Modus. I'm not here to introduce the Modus. We've done Modus. We've done, we've done the FRN Moduses. We've done the Italian one in G10. So this is just the Italian one, of course, in carbon fiber. That's new for 2018, and they're they don't have a large and a small when it comes to the Modus. They do when it comes to the cut jack, which I I don't have my large one. Yes, I do have my large one here, but this is the the small in the FRN, which is getting really good reviews. And actually, I do have yeah my Italian one that is a large. Cut jack in M390. It's a little different look. You can see that it has these stainless liners that come all the way through. This one, of course, this liner for the liner lock is embedded down here in the scale where this one is not. It shows on both sides. So I like this. It adds a little bit of weight, I know but it really gives it a real structural feel. I really like that. So that's uh, not a problem. Um, this one, they're looking to get light, classy, you know, that kind of thing. And so, yes, I, I think they've achieved that. The action on this is really good. I mean, just, man, click. Wow, I mean, that's just, Man, that's nice. It's really probably the nicest action. Yeah, of any of the steel wheel cut jack modus things. That's not bad either. That's not bad. This is 
Yeah, that's not bad. It's a different sound to it, you know. Other than that, yeah, it's pretty good action. These Italian ones, I think, are well made. I I think they they said that was Mazarin in Italy that makes these. They weren't trying to. I don't think non-disclose their manufacturer, but you know, I mean, a lot of knife manufacturers that make knives. Because I was arguing with a buddy of mine, going, "Okay, so do you know who makes the cold steel Formax in Italy?" You know who makes the cold steel Lucky One? That's Italian made, S35 VN carbon fiber in Italy. And he goes, no. So I'm going, then Then why is it like so s supposed to be like, oh, you know, everybody like Steel Will's got to disclose theirs, but cold steel doesn't disclose theirs. Or at least he didn't know, and I didn't either, even though I've had both those knives. Um, so in any case, yeah, nice really good knife feels good in the hand and of course the modus has just got great ergos great ergos it's a great uh knife size wise because it is not as big as a full-size cut jack right not quite of course you're making it see now now you're gonna the cut jack the full size is gonna look bigger here this aspect ratio but Put this one away and let's get something out that everybody maybe can relate to the pm2 and there you go much bigger this is eight and a quarter overall this is not this is a 3.25 inch 3.27 inch i think that what they say you know so not quite you know about 3.27 inch blade 83 millimeters something like that and then little over seven and a half seven five eighths overall 19 and about 19 and a half so seven five eighths a lot smaller this is eight and a quarter so and three and a half inch blade you know length pretty close between these two actually but handle length you know a lot different these might weigh pretty close to the same amount let's get the scales out Do like this knife. I mean, it's really, you know, I think this is going to be a keeper. Just, oh man, just really like the action on it. 3.28 ounces. So let's go to grams, 92.8. Okay. What's a pair of two way? Ooh, that's heavier, isn't it? Okay, never mind. It is heavier. Uh, Yeah, it's 3.81. So this is what, 3.28. Yeah, so, yeah, this is heavier. But it's a bigger knife, that kind of thing. G10 weighs a lot more than carbon fiber, that kind of deal. So, yeah. Now, action's great. You got jimping, like a thumb ramp type deal here. And the jimping is appreciable. You can feel that. You also have jimping back here on this backspacer, G10 backspacer. And I don't know how much contact I really feel myself making with that, but it's there. And of course, you've got some jimping here to be able to go onto that pass through and disengage the liner. Okay. And really, the jimping here is really kind of where you want it to be, right? With that flipper tab. Nice. Nice area to go land your finger down here. Nothing there to interfere. You have a choil here so you can sharpen this blade. It's not going to be a piercing champion, but it's going to be a slicer. It'd be a slicer. See if I can reach clear across here and grab a piece of paper. Yeah. Should stay sharp for a while, right? I mean, it's M390. And, of course, does that bring up that big old thing with Pete, Cedric, and Ada cut test on the M390 Modus that they got in G10 from Italy, and it didn't, it went like 60-some cuts, and then it wouldn't shave paper. I mean, it doesn't mean it won't cut, but, I mean, it wouldn't shave paper, and that was his standard. Uh, so, you know, he just published his thing, and then everybody's hair caught on fire, and everybody was calling everybody a liar and cheat or whatever. I don't know. Steel Will got back with him, and they talked, and and 
they got his knife back to look at. They sent him uh, other knives, I believe, in M390. He cut tested them and they, they did stellar. So maybe a bad heat treat, which needs to be looked at, which is always weird why the knife industry doesn't support some kind of independent testing lab. I always found that to be incredibly incredible that with the tens of millions of knife dollars worth of knives that are sold around the world for industrial use, uh, you know, agricultural, meat processing, as well as knife aficionados like us, hunting, camping, military, all that. Who's doing that testing? Who's testing the materials to make sure the blade steel is as advertised, the heat treat is as advertised? Don't know. Just really find it incredible. that This poor guy, Pete, in Australia has to be the gold standard of testing. We've really laid that mantle on his shoulders. I, I love his stuff and he and his wife are wonderful and I love watching their videos. It's just like the poor guy, I don't know. I just, sometimes it's just like, he feels like, man, should I even say this, you know? Cause you could start a fire and uh, people just go crazy. I just think the hysteria needs to be, you know, moderated until people get a full understanding if there's an issue and how it gets resolved. So, in any case, yes. And am I going to get some rope? I don't know. I don't even know what kind to get or, you know, cut testing and that kind of thing. But I'm sure somebody will do that somewhere down the road. On this model, you know, obviously uh, it has panned out now with the M390. And they did reveal their, their subcontractor in Italy and all that kind of stuff. So... I like it. I like what Steel Will's doing. Uh, and, oh yeah, you know, you guys checked out these Intrigue knives. They're cool too. This is the big one. There's a smaller one. that, And they come in either gray or black. And these are made in China. These are D2. But man, uh, really good piercing and slicing. These are, these are really cool. I mean, these don't, I mean, these are like all the Chinese made stuff. It's they have bronze washers, not bearings, but they still flip good and really utilitarian, feel good in the hands. I mean, wow, steel will. I like I like what they're doing, and but I do like when they do these upscale ones. <sighs> really do. Now this backspacer here, I don't know. I mean, I <laughs> I emailed Paulina and go, I want this and this. I want the aluminum one or. You know, I wouldn't mind if they did like, this is that Rhino from Best Tech, but I mean, G10 knife, but they did, you know, and even Wee Knives has done like titanium backspacers, anode backspacers in G10 stuff. They were selling for what, 120 bucks or something. And this is like 100 and whatever. Yeah, 100, 110. So I'm going, you know, just wouldn't that gold look nice? I just, anything, I, I, I'm, I'm just not a big fan of this G10. Although, here's the problem. The G10 backspacer here, and you go, we'll just flip it with the Chinese one. It's 0.435, let's go millimeters. Or let's go inches, I'm sorry. 0.17, okay, here. But if you look at this, it's a 0.15. So this is thinner than that. They will, the, the holes line up and everything. The size is the exact same. You can swap these, okay? But then you're going to change the geometry of this, right? Because if it takes a 0.17, then a 0.1, you know, whatever, 5 will narrow in at the top a little bit, right? And these screws will screw in far enough. They aren't so long that they will hit each other and stop. Uh, I was able to swap the backspacers and I didn't take a picture of it. Or I did, but I wiped it out. But... Um, or I'd have shown it to you, but yes, they will screw all the way in and it will take up the slack and that thinner backspacer will fit in there. But then you're going to have, I mean, you know, uh, one of the viewers was saying, yeah, then you're, you're going to throw the geometry of this off and maybe get more wear on certain upper part of the pivot, uh, than the lower and that. So I don't know. I mean, it would be nice. And I told Pauline, I would be really cool if they made some optional backspacers because I, I swapped this one, obviously, with uh, one of our viewers, Steve Kluver, who lives up in Iowa. And he got the black one of these 
with a blue backspacer and I got a blue one. It comes with a black backspacer, but he wanted all black. And so he says, would you swap? And I go, sure, I'll take the blue backspacer. So I did. It doesn't really match exactly, but I don't care. Um, but you know, it would be nice. And of course you've got a big and a small of this, and then you've got a big and a small of this. So, you know, I mean, uh, that kind of thing. What would swap with who and how many spacers? But see, you can swap these. Are, these all come with black, these, these ones from China. Um, but these from China have different ones. The green comes with a black aluminum backspacer. The black one comes with a blue aluminum backspacer. And the blue one comes with an orange aluminum backspacer. So you can swap these around already, you know. I mean, Chinese made with Chinese made on the Modus because there's just one size. And they'll swap back and forth with here, but they're not the right thickness. So it's a no bueno deal. I'm not going to do that. I tried it. It worked, but I'm going, nah, I got I to put it back the, the original way. So this would be cool if some aftermarket person or something came out with some options like maybe a titan, you see them, even like you can get backspacers for the PM2 and all kinds of spider coat things, but there's a lot more of them out there. So there's a market. So it'd be interesting in the future if either Steel Will does that or not. I mean, uh, if you've seen my review on the real steel Sea Eagle, you'll see that they actually have different colored scales and backspacers available for that model. Now, not for all their models, but that one. So, I mean, that's, it's like, it's not, it's not like it's never done. It's just, uh, it, it'd be kind of neat. It'd be kind of neat, but these do match between the Chinese and this. I mean, the screws are placed exactly the right way. It's a, it's dead on. It's just the thickness is different. And of course, you know, since this doesn't have bearings, you don't need that kind of gap that you do here with bearings. So it's a different situation there. <sighs> Good looking knife though, really. I mean, I guess if that's your only niggle and the fit and finish on this knife, the action's great. Um, so everything about this knife, I really like. It's 167 bucks, I think last I looked. So. Uh, it's not super cheap, but I mean, uh, you getting premium steel and the carbon fibers real and, uh, it just feels good in the hand. I, I, I think you can justify that. I think you can, uh, you know, that's not a problem for me. And this one was number 19. Did I show you the stuff? Hold on. This is what's, what comes in the box. Well, the box opens up and it's like this and you get the little you know, little bubble pouch that the knife comes in that goes in the box back in here. And then, then you get this, which their Urban Series, you know, they're telling you that's what this knife is from their Urban Series. And then the Italian, of course. Yeah, serial number 0019. Signed off and everything. January. So it will show, yeah. Serial number 0019. So, wow. Um, I, I like it. Yeah, it's a keeper for me. I This and my, my full-size cut jack. Um, just great difference in lighter weight, heavier weight, bigger. More just like a medium, not super small, but, you know, very carryable, very classy. A little bit more utilitarian with this one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm liking them. I like what Steel Will's doing. Looking forward to seeing what other things they're going to be coming out with pretty soon. But, you know, these Intrigue knives, the black has uh, the red spacers and the gray has the blue. So, I like that really well. I've carried this one my share of times and, and do every once in a while. But I'm rotating things around. So, I don't carry the same all the time. Oh my God, just so much coming and going. What do you think? Man, that just sounds so good, doesn't it? 
that's really nice. No blade player lock rock and it's centered. So, you know, and even after I took it apart and put it back together, it works. So, and even after I took it apart and put the wrong spacer in it, just to see if it would fit, because I had to do that, right? You can't just let, let it go. You got to follow it right to the end. I'll let you go. Flanny, what are you doing? Get in here. You got to put on a show for some, you got to at least show up. Show up. Yeah. Classy looking eye. And maybe a little too much glare for you guys, but... Nah, I mean, I don't mind the mirrored look on, on some. That This is not going to be, you know, your beater or your ranch and camping knife. This is going to be mm, proud carry. You know, maybe maybe go into your collection of, you know, into the safe queen syndrome thing or the drawer of proud knives and stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, not every knife is there just to be used and abused. Some of them are just to be admired. Right hand, left hand, did I say tip up? You can go either way. Yes, you can. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much. Did we talk our, what, 21 minutes? That's crazy. Thank you so much. Take care. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.